Uh, welcome to Music und Frieden Berlin, where I have Sakis from uh, Rotting Christ with me. Nice to meet you, Mom. Nice to meet you. And uh, your, your band is celebrating its uh, over 30 year. 30 year. This year is our 30 years yeah. of the scene. Yeah. Yes, that's true. So, how are you going to celebrate? Uh, I don't like that much celebrations, personally. Uh, because time is something precious and I really don't want to spend it, you know, in celebrations and stuff like that. But during the whole year, we are going to release some uh, old school uh, influenced uh, releases like seven ECPs, demo cassettes, uh, vinyls, like we used to do back in the days. And this is our kind of celebration, let's say. No big shows or nothing else. Yeah. We'd like to have a little bit of the feeling of the past. Oh, yeah, and uh, for example, uh, next month you are releasing the EP called The Call. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. in March you are releasing uh, The Greatest Spells. Yeah, yeah, the best of. And yeah. then there's also the Under Our Black Cult Deluxe Pack in the horizon somewhere. So uh, Yes, yes, in the future, yeah. Yeah, so let's talk about those. Let's uh, talk about the EP. Yes, you know something. Thing. Many people say you are going to have a new album. That's why you have pre-released uh, this uh, song. No, no, you just have a song and you wanted to never an unreleased song and you wanted to have it in 7 HP. Nothing more, nothing else. Mm -hmm. uh, available only in this form format, not CDs, no digital, nothing, like we used to do back in the days. That's also gonna release and uh, best of, I think after 30 years, maybe it's okay to have a best of album. And so with one unreleased song, two there. Also, you know, some uh, vinyls. Uh, this uh, I like very much this, uh, these things. You know, I grow up with this. Uh, that was my life, and still is. You know, I'm a vinyl collector, everything. So I would like to pass the, a little, a little of this feeling nowadays. And uh, yeah, is the deluxe pack gonna be all LPs then? Or yes, kind of. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so the band was uh, founded already in '87. 88, let's say 88. Uh, okay, 88. Yes. So, um, how would you uh, describe this amazing journey? It's a journey, life journey. That's true. Still, I cannot describe it because I'm still alive and still living this with many ups and downs, with a lot of experiences, with a lot of sacrifices, good times, bad times, ups and downs, as I told you before. Uh, but uh, it's a journey. Uh, I never become rich, how I say, but I become rich in my soul. That was my goal always. I mean, since I remember myself, I remember myself as a traveler. I like to know people and I know all the world. So band was the thing that led me there. So I took my band and I played all around the world. For the first 20 years, I didn't even get money. I didn't want to get money because I did it for the, for the hell out, for the idea. And uh, I can say this is a very special journey, it's a very weird journey that maybe sometimes in the, in the future, sometime in the future, gonna write a book or something with many ideas, especially from those er from the era that we didn't have PCs or mobile phones or these legendary day days. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, about the band's music from the grindcore roots to the very yes, varied yes. metal you made in latter years. Yes. Uh, how do you see the evolution of your music? It's an evolution, in my opinion. Uh, I try to be to express myself, and I think I'm getting more and more mature uh, artistically. And I can say that uh, I cannot call this revolution, this evolution. I cannot call it, but this is me, you know, because I'm the composer of the band. So I used to be a grand core back in the '80s, early in the '80s. Now I'm. Uh, then uh, more into black metal now, more into, let's say, more atmosphere. I can, but I cannot give it a name. I cannot name this evolution. This is me, just as simple as that. Yeah, and uh, what does uh, black metal mean to you? And has the meaning changed over the years? Yeah, should not change, but it did. Um, it was more a revolutionary thing back in the days. More against system, more against... Um, fundamentalism, religion, fundamentalism, uh, against everything actually. But nowadays, a little bit, 
uh, you know, com maybe commercial, still the idea of black metal is against everything, but it's commercialism. You know, everything became more commercial nowadays. Uh, no pu pure days. Everything counts on money, it is money, which is um, it's all about money, not only in music, in everything aspect of life. So unfortunately, black metal became a part of this, of the system. Still there are some people, some young, especially young people that keep the idea alive, but I'm afraid that even those guys, you know, the system will get them. Because the uh, system is so strong sometimes. Still, as of, uh, for the oldest people, we are in the system, as I can say, but on the other hand, for those true bands that uh, I'm, I support all those true bands that I try to keep some of the ideas of the past. That's the most important thing. That's w what we try. I don't consider myself nowadays as a revolutionary person. Okay, but at least try to keep some ideas from the past. Maybe it can help you know, the new generations. Okay, and uh, what does occultism mean to you nowadays? Occultism? Uh, it's a soulful thing, I think. More inner thing uh, about looking a spiritual thing that thinking and searching for things. That's all about nowadays. No Satanism and stuff, but searching more and more you know, about uh, apocryphal arts and stuff like that. It's very important sometimes. That make you keep you spiritual. That's very important for me in, to create music. Because if I don't feel spiritual, I cannot create. If I don't uh, have pain, I cannot create. It's very important. Uh, yeah, and this uh, kind of follow up question: uh, From where do you draw inspiration for your music? I don't write music when I'm happy. So when I'm back home, I'm getting uh, isolated. I can't say isolated in my room. Reading, listening, and talking with myself. This is very important. Um, from where exactly, I cannot say. I'm very inspired from uh, mythologies, ancient civilizations, ideas. Uh, I'm a, a more kind of multicultural person. I like believe, you know, I'm searching for spiritual uh, things from all around the world. Um, I cannot name exactly where I'm inspired, but I'm as I told you, I'm influenced more from a more, I'm a more multicultural uh, uh, being. Okay, and uh, let's go to touring. You are at the moment uh, touring on the rituals. Yes, among the rotten tour with Karak Angren. Yes, How it's, has, uh, it's the fifth been going. It's very good. Yeah, it's uh, the fifth show. Today's the fifth show, and all the shows are almost sold out. Uh, very good um, feedback from the fans, from the people. From because I'm also a fan, you know, I don't like to call the people that come fans, because I'm also a fan. Uh, very nice response. The relation between the bands are very good. It seems uh, like a promising tour. It's, we are just in the beginning. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, you've been doing this for a long time, but uh, yes, how important are live performances for you still? It's very important. It's tired, though. It's not like in the past, but uh, for me, the connection I have with the, f with the people that come to the show, are, it's very important for me to give me energy. The whole day, I'm a kind of miserable person. I don't feel well, but when I play, when I'm on stage, and after the show, after the, the next five, three, four hours, maybe five, I feel like, all right, I was reborn again. And then again, I become a more miserable person because it's not that good sometimes to sleep, you know, always in a bus that moves. I'm doing that 25 years almost on the road. Uh, you miss some people that you love, you know. You, you miss sometimes looks or things, but in the end, you realize that you are a fighter, you are a warrior, uh, and you you have the you must do till the end. This is my goal as a person, you know. If something doesn't kill me, make me stronger. This is very important. Okay, and uh, like you said, it's not like it used to be, so uh, what has changed from maybe the 80s till, for example, tonight in Berlin? No, it had changed um, our bodies. 
For instance, we drink once and we are sick the next two, two or three days. Back in the days, you drink every day, no problem. Now you all even think to smoke, to take drugs or to, to, uh, to drink something, you know. So your body does help you. That has changed a lot. That has changed. So uh, sometimes you feel a little bit miserable. But in the end, you realize that gives you power, keep you, keep you young. What you are doing keep you young, uh, keep you that you uh, you feel that you are doing something. If, for instance, play a show tonight and realize, see some people that smiles, that for me it's very important. You know, that means that I make made sense that I come from far so far away to play here. Okay, but thank you so much and all thank the best for friend. the rest of the tour. Wish all the best for the future and keep the spirit alive, non-servium. <laughs>